Question two. What is the relationship between agency slash instinct and personality? And does this work when thinking about determinism versus autonomy? Um, I th I'm going to read this question again and re re replace the slash with the verses because I think that's what's meant and then it'll become clearer what the question is asking. What is the relationship between agency versus instinct and personality? And does this work when thinking about determinism versus autonomy? So the first answer is yes. It does work uh, when thinking about determinism versus autonomy in the sense that, that agency and autonomy are, are, are synonyms in this context, and instinct and determinism are synonyms. And I hope you can see in what I'm saying that I'm actually referring back to the answer I gave to question one. There is a difference between instinct and agency, and that difference coincides with the capacity to suppress instinct and think. And that coincides with the suppression of determinism and the creation of autonomy. I hope that's clear. But now, also in this question is, what is the relationship between this distinction, between agency and instinct, uh, and personality? Uh, I, there, are, there are two um, uh, aspects to this relationship. The first is, although we all have instincts, and we all have the same instincts, um, our instincts are not identically strong or sensitized um, uh, in everyone. Just as some people have big ears, and some people have long noses, uh, likewise, some people have high anxiety, and some people have um, diminished um, it, uh, it, this instinctual inclination to attach. Uh, if I may um, illustrate that with a slightly controversial example, males on average have less attachment instinct than females, uh, and that's across the mammalian series. Uh, males on average have more rage than females across the mammalian series. This is not opinion, there's a really very well-established empirical fact. So there we're talking about genetic and chromosomal differences, um, and the same applies to individual differences. You know, we are not all genetically identical. Some people are simply born more anxious, and others uh, less so, and so on. So obviously this has implications for instinct, I mean for personality. Uh, the second way in which these concepts relate to personality is more on the autonomy side, more on the agency side. All of that side of the personality is learnt. You know, you're, not, you're, you're born with instincts, but you're not born with the representational fabric um, that comes from a, a lifetime of lived experience. There's such variety um, in the experiences that we have, guided as they are by the adults that we find ourselves being looked after or buggered up by. You know, um, there's going to be enormous difference in regard to these things, interacting then with the individual differences in terms of strength um, uh, or weakness of the various instinctual tendencies. And so these two things in interaction with each other have momentous implications for personality. Uh, now that I've answered that question, I think you can see the answer sort of self-evident.